Welcome to AI Academy, where you learn everything AI related to Microsoft. So what exactly is AI as a technology? Okay, here's the thing. For a lot of people, AI can be synonymous with dystopian sci-fi doom and gloom. Sci-fi books and movies haven't exactly given AI the most positive rep. But know this, AI is an advanced algorithm, not a conscious thinking entity with original thoughts and actions. It only works when given instruction or permission by you. It's a software. So don't worry, the Terminator is not going to get you. But that being said, since you clicked on this video, I hope you are excited about AI. But guess what? As of 2023, over 70% of people over the age of 45 are unsure if AI is good for society. The point is, when you don't understand AI, you can easily view it as something different to what it really is. So what is it? Well, if you're chatting back and forth with an AI, that's probably an LLM. You know how your phone can guess what word you want to text next? An LLM, large language model, is essentially the same technology, but ramped up to a 11. It basically just generates words that are relevant to the input you gave it. Seriously, that's fundamentally how it works. Then, how does it seem so smart? It's all about the training. These LLMs are trained on vast data sets, including complete libraries of books, articles, and websites. This is how these AI tools can understand and generate human-like language so effectively. Versatility is key. These LLMs are being trained in an always-growing suite of tasks like translation, summarization, Q&A, creating writing, and on and on and on. More abilities are being added and discovered literally each day. If this is sounding too technical, just remember, the use case scenarios for AI are just about as broad as the number of use case scenarios for any technology ever. Think about the number of times you would have liked to have an extra set of eye on an email or Word document, or the difference it would have made to have a personal researcher do all the digging about the two different products you have been comparing. Or what about the last time you planned a big trip and how many websites, blogs, reviews, and apps you used to make an itinerary fit within your budget? These normal life scenarios are where AI tools can shine brightest and have the strongest impact on our lives. All it takes is how you become familiar with how you use them. The AI we interact with, like Microsoft Copilot, has been trained on human behavior. But whenever someone isn't impressed with AI, it's often because they're treating it like a sci-fi robot instead of the nuanced algorithm it really is. It's not just about what you say, it's how you say it. Look at how different the output is if I ask AI top 5 weekend activities versus if I asked it I'm a busy dad and I want to have fun with my high energy kiddos this weekend. What are the five things we should consider to have fun together? Curiosity, openness, and strong questioning skills go a long way. AI isn't the matrix. It's a valuable tool you can learn right now. You want to become an AI master in record time? Well, that's easy. Here's how. The next time you start to search for something online, try using Copilot instead. That's it. Use it for your everyday tasks to start understanding the full scope of what it can help you with. And when at first you don't succeed, explain to Copilot what it got wrong and try again. Have fun, stay curious, and get ready to save a lot of time in your day-to-day -day tasks. And there you have it, AI as a technology in a nutshell. In our next AI Academy installment, we'll talk about how Microsoft has made a commitment to responsible AI principles, giving you peace of mind while using Microsoft AI tools. If you have enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.